the first thing we are doing today is a palliative, Ramadan Karim palliative. This has been an honor thing that the chairman of the local government has been doing it. She has been a wonderful chairman that has the might of her people in her mind. She is a cheerful giver. This is not the first time that she's doing this. I could remember even during the Christmas period, she does as such. During the Christmas period, she took care of her Christmas, uh, her Christian farmers and the other community members. Now, after that, there was another palliative that she did again that we benefited from. This is the third phase for my farmers. And we are glad to say big thanks to her. And uh, my special grace of God, we hope that she will do more of it. Now, she has also bring out a good system. What is that system? You know, agri-business cut across the value chain. The marketers, the granders, the, the farmers, the crop farmers, the egg farm, pea farm, pea farm, and Alaska farm, everybody. So, agri-value chain, it, she cut across the agri-value chain. Now, what are we going to do? The next one now, what we are going to do is, we are going to bring our produce from our farm. If you're a real farmer that you are farming, that you have this thing on farm, we bring all our produce outside. When we bring all our produce outside, she subsidizes. She will get it from us. Then we sell to people. You get three or four, five items. Then the local government will subsidize for us. And you see, if such a thing, should continue. You can see that it is like it go pari pasu like the state government, the state governors and uh, palliative of a thing. So if she's doing that, you see that there's going to be a reduction in the, the, the in, in the level of poverty. Then the um, SACPA level will reduce totally in the local government. If not 100 percent, at least 80 percent will do something. Then the farmer too will feel belongs that at least we have the off taker. She's going to be an off taker to us. If she's taking something from our produce, then we'll not be suffering for uh, me, Roger Mitz. I don't have place to sell my market. There is a market for us. There is a, an open market for us. Then that one, we are going to exhibit that one, good and fine, clean and clean at the local government. We'll give it, it is farmers that will control that, it is farmers that will, that will square head it. Then we'll give a ticket to the community members. When they come, you get your produce, well packaged, well branded. You will see that the farmers are doing well. In the era of uh, farmers that we are in tattered clothes, no, 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 it has gone. Now, come to the issue, come to the issue of uh, the laws that we incur at Ebuti Afuye. The Ebuti Afuye cage culture, our farmer really lost a lot of, millions of naira uh, has gone in that place. Over 100 million naira has gone in that place. But the burden of contention is Ebuti Afuye cage culture is quite different from the normal water where we are selling our fish. Ebuti Afuye cage culture is at the back of Oluo market. Are you getting me? Yes. It's at the back of Oluo market. Then the easy then that apples. Apples are at the back of Oluo market. Not Oluo. Since um, I'm, a, I'm one of the sons of the soil of this community. Ever since the time I've been, I've been in this community, for once I've never heard that Oluo market is being shuttered down. For, for just for once. And when people are saying there is no fish, there is no day. You ever open your eyes, you get Oluo that you not get a single fish. Because Shelley, everybody has seen Shelley. So, if you now said you are shutting down Oluwo, for crying out sake, what do you want us to eat? We are the fish basket of the state. We have nothing that we live on except that place. The, the, our, our water is the best water so far. Now, the issue of dredgers that are affecting the catch culture at the Ebuti Afuye, and the issue people are saying the dredgers, people are saying the water are saying, people are saying this and that. Really, 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 really. We have run at lost in that place. And we want the state government to come to our aid. 90% of people that are working in that place are youth. Then we have over 50 groups in that place. Appeals group. Appeals group in that place, there were 40 groups. Apart from that 40 groups, we have extra 50 groups in that place. Consists of 10, 10 members. Calculate 10, 10, 10 in, 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 in 50 places plus that four. That's 90. Calculate those things. So we, we need the state government to come to our aid. Now, the chairman, 
She says she's going to assist us, which I trust her. She's a person that, she's a man of her words. Now, Oluwa Market should not shut down. They should not shut down Oluwa Market. So, if they shut down Oluwa Market, my mother, my sister, my families are working in that place. If that place is being shut down, well, what are we going to live? How do we live? What are we going to eat? That means all the fish that our fisherman has gotten, the, the artisanal fish farmer again will also be crying. How do we solve that one? Because all I know about the Jawan City, Jawan Batu, Kuton, Ribitasi, that's another crisis. Let us undo things the way it is. All the market should not be shut down. Let's face the Ebuti Afia of a thing. Emma Yakole took my left bear. The, uh, we have responsible, reliable, and hardworking youth in our community. So for now, we need state government to come to our aid on the Buti Afuya issue. We need state government to come to our aid on Oluwo issue. Now, those scientists that are taking water, they are taking this. And I want to use, use this medium to, to say thank you to the Ministry of Justice that came to come and see. We are there with the National Youth Council. They took samples. They took the sample of the water, they do the sample of the water ascent, then they saw the dredgers over there. Now they will now go and sit down as a professional and tell us the outcome of the issue. Fine. Thank you. In fairness to God Almighty, when that thing happens, we saw the dredgers over there. You know, we are not a professionals. Then the, 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 the scientists, the ministry of issues that we have, the station of issues that we have, they are, they are, they are capable. They are intelligent. You see, when things happen like this, people just be going on air, blah, 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 blah. But, the way we do presentation divers, fine, such a thing happens. But let them come with their reports, let them come with their findings that this is the state of things. But as I'm as, as speaking as the president of farmers, that we have incurred over 100 million naira. In that place, and this thing, they as it was the Ministry of Agri that assisted us through the appeals projects. And if such a thing should happen, then we know not talk. Well, what are we talking about? So let them come with their findings. Thank you. But the pre-chairman has promised at least to come to the farmers' aid. She has been doing it. She also promised to do more. What do we do?